I hope you guys are hungry because I'm building my favorite fast food restaurant, a Bojangles in Minecraft. Stay tuned. How's it going everyone? It's Jay Blader and welcome back to another video on the Olympus Craft server. Well, we're like 40 something episodes in and today we are not going to be working on the base. I know I'm over here uh, quite often. I was over here to pick up some uh, some carrots, some beetroots because we've got the botany pot mod and that makes uh, getting some of this stuff very easy. So I wanted to grab some because we got some villager trading to do for a build today. I need all the crops because we gotta do some villager trading. I'm gonna need a ton of these bricks because we're working on the Bojangles today. We started it two or three episodes ago, clearing out some land, uh, talking with Zinji and Fuzzy about their uh, food habits over there in, in Europe. And uh, yeah, Bojangles, restaurant here on the east coast uh, of the US and that's, that's what we're gonna be building because it's one of my favorites. I just want an excuse to build a Bojangles, to be honest. And then we were using create machines to clear out all this. So I'm going to head over to Fuzzies and grab a few more materials before we get started. We're also going to need sandstone. So I found this like desert biome that is kind of far away, but I, you know, there's, there's create ways to get sandstone, but this is just an easy way. I'm, I'm going to collect some. You guys remember shulker boxes? I like never use them because I've got the Tom Simple storage, but I've got a few here just to kind of pinpoint all the material we're going to be using. I'm going to be using the mixed bricks from Twigs. They are very similar to the bricks, just a little bit of uh, mixed texture, as the name implies. And uh, I think that's actually really nice. So we're going to be intermingling some uh, mixed bricks in with the bricks. And then, of course, smooth sandstone. This is the main two things that Bojangles kind of look like. I think they use a form of sandstone and, uh, and, and bricks, too. So that should be perfect. So without, uh, without any more delay, let's go ahead and get started building our Bojangles. Let's do it! Bojangles is done with American flag out front. This is, I think, the best I'm going to do with the scale. And I also stuck to mostly vanilla blocks. Of course, the mixed bricks aren't truly vanilla blocks, but you maybe can throw in some granite or something if you want to build this in vanilla. This is, of course, a modded SMP, so I do have some modded block options, like the little lights here, uh, the Simply Bulb lights. Yeah, they're pretty fun for the drive through and then, and then we've got like shutters, so it's like a dark oak shutter up there. Kind of fun, and I don't know what to do with the doors yet, so we're just using these kind of bamboo doors. Or not bamboo, uh, they're, they're oak shoji hole doors, and they, they do that kind of thing, which is kind of fun. I need to maybe do like the glass doors, kind of like what I did on the bank maybe. Sliding glass doors, that could work. Because most of the time, the doors on these types of restaurants are, uh, are glass anyway, so... They kind of fit in with the entrance like that. Now, the outside is mostly done. Went with the andesite roof up here. Mm -hmm. I think this is a really nice palette. And this orange is like almost the perfect Bojangles orange color, which is really exciting. Well, the only thing I haven't done really yet is, of course, the inside. I started putting down some floor. And, and I will say, like, the flooring on uh, at Bojangles restaurants are always, like, really bad. Um, they're usually, like some really odd tiles with like a weird pattern in it so um this is kind of what i'm going with for now they, they the flooring usually doesn't make any sense like straight up I, I don't know why but we are going to begin adding the interior i think i'm going to go with stripped oak there's usually like paneling kind of there's like 
a short paneling and then on top of that is like a wallpaper that's usually kind of like a muted gray type of color so i've got to find a block that i think is going to kind of work i was thinking diorite but now that i have it out i'm not sure diorite's going to work honestly limestone is the closest to like the the wallpaper or color that they use they're they're kind of muted browns colors on the interior um and some of these colors are conflicting but i i think that's just the way a bojangles looks honestly so i gotta get a floor plan laid out there's always an eating area when you come in the doors are always there all of these are laid out the same right i've been to like 15 different bojangles across the the eastern united states they're all laid out the same you come through there's a wall here and then it turns like this and then you walk here to order so this wall goes this way there's a counter here every stinking time there's a counter and it turns here and here's where your condiments and stuff are this always turns like that there's an eating area here and then there is the seating area over this way why are all bojangles set up exactly the same i guess it's because as a franchise you, you got like a few different floor plan options right but they're like almost always entirely set up exactly the same makes my job uh for designing an interior really easy and something that is uh kind of funny is they always have these like uh these like waiting cues i'm not 100 percent sure what they would be called but they always have these cues that you have to like stand in so you have to like stand here and then it goes around to wait in line i don't know it's like that every stinking time every single one i've ever been in which i always think is funny because you got to walk around it even if it's not busy you know and then there's always a little side room here there's always a door here where the employees enter I'm telling you guys, this is it is the exact same in every single one. Uh, I wish I was exaggerating, but I'm not. And then back on this side, there's always goes back to a restroom, which leaves all of this for the kind of chef and cooking area, which is usually very gray and kind of sterile. So uh, I'm going to place some more blocks. We got some more blocks to place. Got to lead this back to the restroom and then got to do the kitchen area. So I'll be back in one second. Let's get some blocks placed. I'm just putting the finishing touches now on this bathroom room, I guess. Uh, they always have like terracotta colored floors. The tiles are always like this brown red color and it's always very odd. Guys, the food is good though, okay? The food is pretty good for a fast food place. So we have one restroom here, a second restroom here, and then from above, you know, we'll drop down. This is where all of the chefs kind of do their good uh do do their work now if you've ever been to a bojangles then you know that you give your order here and then there's a bunch of different uh like hot plates like basically behind a glass pane so let's do the glass pane this is the best it's gonna get okay there there are limitations in this game but there's glass panes and behind that are hot plates with food so that you can see them preparing your dish here on these counters and then this is where you pick up your food and then you typically walk out this way so for the uh back here we're going with limestone continuing the limestone pattern it's pretty easy to get to so it's a nice kind of neutral color that's got a little bit of texture for the floor going with smooth stone i feel like this is the most appropriate uh kind of color and texture for a kitchen and i've seen a variety of uh different kind of colors for their kitchens but i, th I think this is going to do fine so let me get all this into place it wouldn't be american fast food without the drive through window so we'll get the drive through window location here here we do two drive through locations the first one you go to is where you pay for your food and then the second one is where you pick up your food some places still do this some of them just do one uh, but yeah, we're gonna have two drive through windows Then out here. I just simply added in this wall here They always have this kind of wall that separates the dining area in here You'll have different areas to sit along this back wall. There will be booths Of course, I'm gonna be building all of that stuff or at least as close as I can get it in Minecraft the workers go through here and uh, this is where all of the the cooking happens new deliveries come in here I'm sure there's refrigerators. I'm sure there's deep fryers and working stations and all that good stuff freezers there's got to be a freezer somewhere so lots of stuff still to happen here uh as far as the ceiling it's not going to be actually that tall i'm sure there's a lot of like 
HVAC and stuff like that that's going to happen. So still got some more detail to add in, including the ceiling. So let me figure out what block. I think we're just going to go with like a, a white block because they usually have kind of like that drop. I think they're called drop tiles and they're usually kind of white in color. So let's get that placed in. A little bit more of the interior done using some spruce tables from the Twigs mod. We got the McCall's Furniture mod here too. So really looking like the interior of a Bojangles now. A bunch of chairs and on the back wall we got some boots. I'm using flower pots as cups. I think there actually are like tea sets in this but yeah I, I'm not going that hard on, on the decoration of this. We'll keep it simple. Over here is where you pick up your condiments and stuff. So I don't know if I have any kind of small decorations. I mean, again, there's there's so much, like, little decorations in this pack, but um, I'm really, like, lazy when it comes to the, when it comes to, like, interior decorating. It's just not, it's just not my jam. So, we're just gonna, we're just gonna pretend that this is, like, a, a coffee filler, a tea filler, and, and just call it a day. Yes, the, the, the cauldrons, the backs area, the back, not the back rooms, uh, this is where the orders are taken and they always have a microphone. They always say what you order so that people in the back can start preparing it. So this is where you pay for your food. The food gets made here. I actually need some little lights here, like kind of like heat lamps. I think that would be kind of funny because there's always like heat lamps on the food there. Very nice. There's a little bit more interior designing to do here and I'm going to keep it really simple. Uh, because it's not my strongest skill set. So we're going to have some sets of uh, refrigerators. Again, there's refrigerators, I think, in this pack. But we're just going to keep it simple. and Do some kind of vanilla refrigerators. There's power coming down to them. Of course, we're going to need deep fryers. So we're going to put some deep fryers on, uh, on this wall. And for the workstations, going to just do some stone stairs here. So this is where all the hot plated food goes and then we'll build one more of these I think there usually is two of them I don't know I this I'm drawing these conclusions from my my times in a Bojangles and just looking while I'm waiting for my food to be prepared so I could be totally wrong I don't know I'm sure someone out there uh, has worked at one and knows the intimate intimate inner workings of a Bojangles but me myself I, I do not I'm just a just a humble fan. Okay, we're getting we're getting some stuff done here now. I think the rest of this I'm just gonna leave bare for the time being. Uh, we got some just kind of really low ambient lighting here. Maybe I can add a little bit more spotlights. So these are really nice. The dynamic edge lights. Um, you can place them like on the sides of things like that. Very nice. You got to see what you're cooking with, right? I'll tell you what, let's put some furnaces here. They'll kind of act as ovens because I'm sure they, they need, uh, they use both like microwave ovens and normal ovens. Most fast food places do nowadays. We've got a few more counter blocks, so we'll give them a few more uh, kind of workstation area there. A counter here. And uh, I could go a little bit more ham in this area, but we're just gonna call it a day for the kitchen interior design. I could, we have a bunch of decoration mods here. We have a ton of decoration mods here that add like individual food items that I could put out, uh, food trays, cups, cutlery, uh, but not really my thing. So uh, if you wanna watch that stuff, go check out Code or Stir Cap because they really dive into that stuff and do great jobs with it. Rob does too, Rob and Fuzzy also are really into the little decoration mods but I think this place is looking pretty good I mean it feels like a Bojangles to me all right bathroom reveal we've got some stalls with some cauldrons that are supposed to be uh toilets and some places for you to wash your hands which are also cauldrons but they're not toilets they're sinks other bathroom more of the same in here same thing kind of deal kind of deal anyway that is the interior Oh, yeah, that's what she's up for glass doors. That is the interior, and I guess, like, the, ex the exterior, like, almost done. This place came together so quickly. Here's a greater look at it. One thing I've got to figure out next time is how I want to do the lettering. There is, like, some custom lettering, and I think I can add custom paintings or, like, the graffiti 
kind of mod that we have on here and get some custom um, fonts and stuff basically and, and design their logo and put their logo directly on the building. That is an option. I could always go with the tried and true um, method of using the banners, which it might fit. It depends on how many letters it is. And we might just go with creating something that looks like the, the logo, uh, which might just be some different kind of red blocks. Their, their logo is kind of that red acacia kind of color, a little bit more orange red than that. Uh, but this area is looking great. A little bit of terraforming to do out front, and we got some cars to do. But that has got to wait to the next one. If I haven't told you guys yet, or if you haven't seen the post I made about it, I've got to limit my uploads because the amount of time that I have to play on here is dwindling as uh, the summer is ending and I am in graduate school. Of course, I also work full time, uh, but I'm starting full time graduate school here this month. So the uploads for Olympus Craft are going to go down to one per week, but hopefully we get a lot of stuff done in that episode and there will don't worry there will still be like four or five videos a week at least so still tons of minecraft content for you to check out if uh, that is your thing then make sure you subscribe but thank you guys for tuning in to this episode on the olympus craft server where i built a bojangles and i'm gonna take care of the the, the lettering off camera because i i really want to include that uh at some point anyway thanks guys and i'll catch you all in the next video